Oh boy, the time has come. Alright, so, the Surge. Time to fulfill my sort of duty of playing every Souls-like sooner or later on this channel. I meant to play it much, much closer to launch, but... Boy, oh boy, there's so many video games. I think this one... Didn't this game come out around the same time as Prey, I think? So there's like that kind of competition happened, and I'm like, I really want to play Prey, though. So I played Prey. Uh, ever since, I've continually got a number of requests for it. Like, it's one of my most requested games, but also, rather fascinatingly, one of my most anti-requested games, in that I am told on a regular basis not to play this game. But to the point where it might be the most warned against game ever or something on this channel, which is an interesting title to have. I played uh, Lords of the Fallen when it first came out, which is their previous game that was also a Souls-like attempt thing. Like, they're really explicit about it. And uh, I guess this one must have done better than that one did, because not only does it have an expansion, which I guess Lords of the Fallen also had, but this one also has a sequel coming. I think it comes out this year or next year or something, so... Time to finally play The Surge. When a game's this controver no, controversial is not the right thing to call it. When a game's this divisive and the audience is this split, now I'm just all the more- now I just have to play it because I gotta know if I like it or not. I'm curious as all hell. So let's hop in here at long last, right after I turn on- there we go. Literally the first option in the options menu. You know me so good. Holy crap, <laughs> there's so many options, and literally the first one was look version. <laughs> they know. Uh, there's a lot going on here. So many of many of which is stuff I don't understand. Uh, graphic settings. Uh, well, I, say, I mean this stuff is like stuff I won't understand yet. Graphic settings, is there anything I want to change real quick? An FOV, wait, there's an FOV slider in a third person game, that's interesting. Significantly less common. Let's try making... The voices, not master, whoops. Make, let's try making the voices stand out a bit whenever they do play. You can customize the medbay med music. I've already pre-customized the medbay music because I've heard that the default song, while, do, while it does fit the narrative or whatnot, uh, this is basically bonfire music, uh, apparently it has copyright issues on YouTube, so I've already replaced it with something else. I found a nice thread online that explains how to switch it out. I'm like, oh, that's handy, cool. Definitely is the Xbox imagery. I don't... We, it specifically is only Xbox. They don't do Xbox 360 version. I guess it's just not different enough for anyone to care. Oh well. Anyway, that's probably all we really need to customize. Let's play the Surge. At long last, let's find out what this is. The ancient Greeks once said, A society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. We tend to forget about this, tend to be careless, but we have to rise to the task together. It's up to all of us to sow those seeds, and it's up to us to nurture them towards growth. Creo is not just another company. With Project Resolve, we are building the path to the future. Follow us into a new era, a utopia for all mankind. With every launch, we're healing our planet, restoring its natural shield. A return to the green world we remember, where our children can once more play in the sun. Resolve is not only revitalizing the Earth, but its people too. We've all dreamed of it, and now Creo is making it a reality. Together, we're strong. Together, we can make a change. Unleash your potential with us. You're glad to be here. I am, and I'm glad to see you. Creo, you know who we are, or at least you think you do. Everywhere you turn, we're there, whether you see us or not. Maybe it's time to take a closer look. Creo is one of the world's largest manufacturers of consumer and industrial products, but for so much more. And that's why you're here. 
At Creo, we're always reaching for the stars. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the loudest sound that I've ever heard. Ugh. Ugh. Creo not only wants to change the world, Project Resolve, we aim to save it. There's no divide here. At Creo, we're all in this together. So welcome to your new life as part of the Creo family. You can't see me. Don't look at- don't lie to me. Oh, look! They know look inversion is such- look, look, it's my people. It's literally here. You can toggle it here. <laughs> Holy shit. That's some dedicated space. Look at that camera trick. Look at that camera trick. You didn't expect him to be in a wheelchair, did ya? Although it's kind of set up by the fact that the camera won't let you look around it, and those seats are folded up all around him. And also, the whole intro has a bunch of people being taught how to walk again via cybernetics and whatnot. So, like, I... Not as surprising, necessarily. But I'll just admit that it was spoiled for me anyway. It's, I'm, I'm a year late. People, of course I'm gonna hear about the one... thing to hear about. This is way more amusing than it should be. As part of our ever expanding family. Please proceed directly to registration. Am I it was what I'm doing right now cultural appropriation? Wee. I'm stealing things that people have to deal with and I'm and I'm having enjoyment out of it. Oh, I get it. We're doing Avatar. Except instead of blue people, it's metal suits. Actually, this really... Oh my god, this is actually exactly Avatar, except instead of being Sam Worthington, the blank slate of humanity, I'm... Uh... The halfway point between Willem Dafoe and the guy that played Vision in Marvel, and also was had a career before then. <laughs> and after. Where's my nitro boost? Are you telling me my future, my future awesome wheelchair doesn't have like a nitro boost or, or even just the ability to move fast? You think we'd have self-driving wheeling chairs, uh, wheeling chairs? You think we'd have self-driving wheelchairs by now? Like, this is very analog considering my surroundings. Supple savvy, tune your life. Mup. Try new Mup. Branded Mup. What is Mup? Quick Swift... 11? It is a decently detailed, uh, wheelchair. Oh no, duct tape? It really is analog. The duct tape on both sides. Maybe the duct tape's for his own benefit as, op as opposed to, uh actually holding it together, because that doesn't seem into- Today, I'm- I am not walking. Wait. He has a Christ He has a Christopher Walken joke on his wheelchair. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I was not ready for that. Uh, Bulldogs or the Bully Boys? Some kind of sports team. I don't know if it's real or not. I don't know sports very well. Damn, I'm not walking. Does he have that on both sides? They, they want you to notice that. I don't know what the no sign represents. Is it bad? I just want to look at this character, Iron Mouse. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a is that a biker mice from Mars reference? Yes, no, no. It lives. It snips. It conquers. What is Iron Mouse supposed to be? I mean, the logo looks like Iron Man, I guess, but the design is bizarre. I don't even know. I'm not used to being able to take the camera this close to the character in a game without it blurring it or something, like Dark Souls. I'm used to the game trying to fight against me bringing the camera that close. We get to see him. Got a lot of arm definition. 
There's a lot of detail on this, on the everything actually right now. Which shouldn't be a surprise because uh, Lords of the Fallen was actually a really detailed game, but it suffered from that World of Warcraft slash uh, Darksiders over designing that was exhausting. I don't like that kind of artistic design. Seems inefficient to design your city that way. It maximizes the amount of distance you have to travel to get between any two locations, as opposed to like making it more of like a circle. It's like, you know what our city should be? A series of three lines that stick outward from each other. That, that city wouldn't have flown as well in, uh, in uh, Frostpunk. We can't go that way. It has a step. <laughs> the me I like how the music cut out when I hit the dead end and then came back when I was like, oh, we're going this way. That was that, that was some peak accidental joke in the uh, in the sound design. Oh, it's Iron Mouse. Creo World, come visit. I wonder if that's the expansion or something. I have the A Walk in the Pack, uh, A Walk in the Park DLC. I got this game as a code from the developer, and I got the I later, even while I was feeling bad about not covering the game, they then gave me the expansion as a code too. I'm like, I haven't even covered your main game yet. I'm a bad person. And so I've got the code for that, and the the name of that expansion is clearly a joke uh, at the expense of this genre's difficulty. Like, like, prepare to die for Dark Souls and stuff. A walk in the park is like this sarcastic thing, because it takes place in a park, but it's of course not going to be a walk in the park. It'll be a literal walk in the park, but not a figurative walk in the park. Walk in the park. Heavy operator, Monday... Monday, Friday, or male, female? Save tomorrow, today, as heavy operator, male, female. Or MF? Huh. He's not- wait, is he- is he touching that with his hand? Wait a minute, what's the point of all the crazy mechanical refinements of how tough and strong he is if he's- if he's- if he's holding it with his hand, his- like his actual hand? You wouldn't want to do that. You'd want to have the actual hand also be reinforced, or you're gonna break your hand. That's a terrible idea. Hey, it's- it's the friendly man from the train that was just staring at me while the camera wouldn't move. Lynx. Field technician. That's the field technician, and that's the heavy operator. Am I- wait, I'm, I'm, I'm picking my class, aren't I? Oh, it's like the beginning, beginning of System Shock 2. Okay, well I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of being a, a dex builds. If you like living life in the fast lane, Creo provides you with the highway to success as a field technician. Light. Versatile. State of the art. Gear up and save tomorrow today. Look at that. Weird hand claw. Weird. Apply? Sure. I could always start over if, if absolutely necessary. Although if it's anything like Dark Souls, the starting build doesn't necessarily matter that much. Rig installation program running. Program complete. Patient sedated. Initiating surgery.
Oh shit. Been designated for disassembly. Well, that went from zero to awful, like instantly, didn't it? At first I was like, why is he freaking out? Why is he so surprised by the operation that he volunteered for? And then I realized, oh, it said patient sedated and he wasn't sedated. Like it didn't fire correctly and he wasn't sedated. So he had to stay awake through the whole procedure, which they concerningly do while your clothes are on, which is weird in its own way that they're like screwing stuff on through your clothes into your body? There seem to be little holes already in the clothes for that purpose, but it's still like, what the fuck? And I guess it's such a crappy procedure that we died in the process of it, and or we were determined as a failure or a death, and we were thrown away like all these people who are definitely actually dead, unlike me. So it also... M this place is such a shit show that not only do they misidentify not only do they fail the procedure, apparently on a regular basis, but they also fail to even tell whether you're dead or not. And so now I've been de I've been tossed aside, but I'm here. So we start off with a weapon, which is just some crap I picked up somewhere. So we have a health bar, we have a stamina bar, straightforward stuff there. B is heal, which is going to mess with me a lot. What? Oh, they made B heal and A dash. We'll see about that. It's P it's a PC game. I'm sure I can remap it if I don't like it, but I would definitely want to remap healing to be the one that I have muscle memory for and not B, which is having to press to try to roll. So RB is horizontal, R2 is vertical, as opposed to quick and heavy, although that might still be applicable. I have 15 tech scrap. Game's running nicely. Looks very good, actually. Every time, the, every attack and action consumes stamina, so watch your stamina meter. Yep. I wonder what they mapped X to. Press A to dodge, you monsters, how could you? What do they map it to? Ah, oops, my bad. Let's see. There's X. Use injectable. To, yeah, option two. Horizontal attack, vertical attack. It makes the Estus flask button the Estus flask button. Y becomes drone attack. B, the dodge and sprint becomes the dodge and sprint button from Dark Souls. A is your interact. Yeah, until further notice, I'm gonna try this one. They explicit. I knew they'd have it. I knew they'd have an explicit Dark Souls control scheme. They, they, knew, they know what they're doing. They know they're making basically Dark Souls. That's like the goal. I was like, what are you doing with these weird control schemes? All right, good. To, that's good. I'm happy. I'm happy I could just swap that out. And the prompts say the new buttons. A surprising number of games fail that crap. Like my uh, my UI says X for heal. This The, the in-universe tutorials have been updated. Yep. Ah! Startled me. Thankfully, your death was inconsequential. The, uh... The, the camera is fast. When you're not locked in, it moves quickly. I might change that. Defeat enemies to gain tech scrap. Let's see that sprint. This is my sprinting speed. Then a dodge. I don't think there's a roll. I think it's just a little dash. So, Bloodborne. Right, the blocking. Is it left? Is it trigger that is duck? How do you duck? I know there's supposed to be. I think you're supposed to be able to jump in this game and duck in this game, so you can avoid horizontal attacks that are low or high. Almost like you're playing like a Soul Calibur type of thing. Goodbye. The rocket yard. Look at this place. You can't say this company doesn't try. I mean, I was kind of wowed by some of the production values and even Lords of the Fallen. It's just so much of the other stuff was kind of a big ol' question mark. I was curious what was going to be happening there. Like, will this explode and kill me instantly? Will it crumple? 
Will it ignore me entirely? And it, uh, it kind of crumpled like a beer can. Gotcha. Do implant acquired. Can I equip stuff while I'm just float going around? Or do I have to find stations? At the moment, we don't have anything else to use. We just have a reclaimed piston. Reclaimed because I just found it somewhere lying around. We have a vital injection V.1. Uses three core power consumption, restores 90 health. I have 100 health total, so 90 health restoration is pretty damn strong, actually. I have 10 overall core. This will affect my specializations and setup, basically. What the heck? The medical audit hot swap? Displays enemy health gauges. Oh. You can just toggle it on whenever you want to, and it costs... Okay, so it costs no core, and you can just toggle it whether you want to have it or not. Okay. Triggers a sound when near, when near items or secrets. Then there's one I actually found a moment ago, I think. Mechanized counterweight via... 0 0.9, or version 0 0.9. No, no power consumption, plus 5 crush slash thrust damage, 12 energy consumption. Applies a physical damage to boost, uh, boost to weapons. Let's see. Ah, that's the kind of thing you, you can only change at a med bay, though. Organizer. I've got a Creole World ticket. Buckle up, and get ready for some fun! Security memo. Okay, that's incredibly small font. That's- that's absurd. Oh no. Hello, Creo employees, and welcome to the newest edition of your favorite newsletter. What's new at Creo? What is new at Creo, you ask? Well, only making our greatest dreams reality, of course. For as long as humanity has been looking up at the sky, we've always been reaching for the stars. It's part of what makes us the greatest species in the planet. And even as Creo heals the Earth's atmosphere day by day and rocket by rocket, we're still planning the next big step. Orbital colonies, and maybe even one day travel amongst the stars. With Creo, anything is possible. So you should know that we've been working on some amazing new tools, specially designed for applications in orbit or in the endless gulfs between planets, with brand new hypercooling technology and some technical innovations that will make your head spin. You can bet that our wizards in R&D and biolabs are already drawing straws to find out who gets to fly up there and test their new toys first. But that's Creo for you. Just when you think it can't get any better, it does. <laughs> Everyone's dying. Everyone's dying. And here's my my status screen, which isn't relevant yet, because I haven't gotten to customize shit. What was that sound for? Uh oh. Oh no! Why has my controller spontaneously stopped working? What happened? Wait, how did that happen? How... Do I need to, like, resync it or something? Let's try resyncing it. Because it... It doesn't say it disconnected. Did the game... Wait. Game, did you just lose my controller? How'd that happen? Alright, we're back. Oh god, we're back. Hopefully we're done. I've gone through multiple restarts and entire reinstalls of drivers for controllers. Hopefully, that's so weird that it just stopped mid-session out of nowhere. Like, in my previous setup, I'd be like, oh no, the wire came loose because the wire was wobbly, but I'm playing wirelessly. There's no wire to come loose. When locked on, using right while holding left trigger enables you to switch target lock to a specific enemy. So you hold left trigger and... okay. Right, because L1 is your block. L, R1 and R2 are both melee attacks. That, that's a horizontal vertical combo right there if you put them back to back. Actually kind of smooth. So pressing left trigger plus directions while you're locked in will change things. Pressing it, just tapping left trigger switches the next target. Holding it and doing right stick lets you pick targets. Oh man, that's some left brain, right brain weirdness going on where you have to use both hands in the process of changing targets. That's that, uh, it's gonna be interesting. 
Hey, it's a different button now? It's not, it's not the same button. It's not a different button though. It, with a prompt change. I guess it's from the reinst the changed settings I did. Weird. Holy shit, it's working. <laughs> and it it started we came here during the most strange part of the entire song. Yeah, so I customized the medbay song to be something else. A song that a friend of mine made a decade ago in high school. Alright. So that's- we're gonna be listening to that instead of the country song, because the country song has copyright problems. Fault detected. Your power core seems to be defective. A working power core is needed to use all your Exo Rigs features. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Please contact your Exo Rig supply officer and acquire a new power core. Whoops. That's not gonna be happening. I can put one of these guys in now. Boom. Now everything's equipped and I need to hit, what, like, level... You need to hit core power 15. Okay. Oh, where are we going? I really like the song, actually. It's been... It's, it's stuck with me for like a decade, and... Like, I didn't have any reason to be exposed to it, or to be reminded of it, and I just keep going back to it over and over again. It's just like this nice... progression going on in it. As it goes from mood to mood over a, like seven minutes straight of music. Yeah, well, we'll get... We'll be hearing more and more of that over time. I'm going. Wow, I'm moving slow all of a sudden. Are you receiving? Hello? Can you hear me? Are you still there? Your rig has been damaged. Its distress beacon has been triggered. You need to get back into the factory. The rig seems to work for me. Honestly, it's the least of my problems. I mean, I can walk. Huh. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Well, that's good to hear, but the power core is damaged. You'll have to find a new one to make your rig fully functional. I don't know you. I'm surrounded by dead people here. Maybe someone would like to explain what's going on. I'm sorry, I don't know. You need to get inside. Maybe you can make something to protect yourself. Operations always has a gear assembly. Well, okay. I'll just stroll right on over to the factory then. I certainly don't recommend walking. But there should be a maglev station nearby. They're never far from ops. On my way. Be careful. And don't forget to replace the power core of your rig or you're not going to get very far. Took me a moment to realize that we were using D-pad to control that dialogue there. Oh man, am I just this slow now? Gear assembly. Oh, so I can't do crap here. Am I just this slow because I'm in here? Okay, so my, my healing has been re replenished at this point. Okay, oh, you just move slow when you're in that area. That's... An obnoxiously slow pace of walking. Uh. Hi. Hi. Huh. The funny thing is, now that I realize that there was a, a spot there, Warren. Warren. Is that my name? Visit ops to craft items and change your implant loadout. I can almost imagine that I came into this zone and it tried to load up the custom song. And then when it was loading the custom song, it like broke the controls. I can almost imagine that having happened or something. But yeah, I guess there were so many complaints about the same song looping every time you went to a med station that they made it so that there's a, there's a custom folder in your documents folder. And if you put any music there, then it'll play music from that instead of the song that's already in the surge. Which is funny. Ow. Ow. Ow, I, oh, I wasn't locked on. 
the second one. I am. I have to watch out for my stamina. Gonna have to be much more careful about stamina. Mistakes are made. Okay. You go down. You go down, go down fast against even the easiest enemies. Move right stick in a direction to change enemy body parts. Right. That's why you don't. That's why you don't hot swap between enemies with the right stick, and why you have to hold left trigger specifically, is because. By default, uh, right stick changes the targeting, because apparently, much kind of like Monster Hunter, you want to target specific parts of people's bodies. What is that? What is happening? You want to lock onto specific parts of people's bodies to attack different parts to get different specific things for your upgrades and whatnot. Oh, there he is. I was like, what the fuck was that sound? Oh, that sounds probably the secret. A sound is supposed to play when I have a secret. Okay. So I can target the boss. Oh, no. Oh no, it's the KCD problem. Okay, let's see if I can fix this or not. Vertical targeting synced, what? Yes, do not sync it with my vertical access thing. Yes, okay, so unlike KCD, they let you change this. See, I, I I do look inversion, but I don't want look I don't want this to be inverted. I see that as a radial menu. I don't want that to be inverted to match my camera controls. That's just not how my brain processes it. But they they uh, thought of that, so I can change this without it being inverted while my normal camera is inverted. So thank you for that. Target weak points. Target your enemy's unarmored head. So I can just aim at that and then just ignore it for now, I guess. Do you attack? Oh, he's, he seems a bit defenseless. Well, now I just feel bad. Hey, 135 scrap. Is this my find a secret sensor? Hello. Hello. Hey, Vital Boost V1. I wonder if I can stack that with my other Vital Boost to get even more heals or something. Because that's what that sound was. It's my secret finder thing. I get, on a video gamey sense, I get why these weird attack specific parts of enemies thing is a thing in like Monster Hunter and whatnot, but I just, I find it really strange the idea that you have to attack a specific part of an enemy in order to, uh, get specific salvage from them. I'm like, the whole corpse is laying there when you're done. <laughs> why Why is it that I have to attack a specific spot in order to gain access to the crap that is going to just be laying there free for the taking after the fight? That It's always really weird to me. Oop. How you doing, buddy? Oh, what was that little attack? He's not hyper-responsive so far. Poor guy. There appears to be an item hiding over here, judging the, by the, the crazy-ass sounds I'm hearing right now. I can't beat my way through. Ooh. Damn it, why don't you listen? You need to upgrade your power core or replace it, otherwise you ain't getting through that door. If you keep trying to overload it without the proper power capacity, security is going to end up all over your ass. We've come too far to get caught now. Those implants are worth thousands. This is our golden ticket out of here, man. Don't screw it up. Exchange that power core for the love of God. What are you, stupid? Hey, buddy. You got an arm and a leg that's weak. So I, th I think that, so ignoring the whole upgrade materials part, that doesn't make sense. What does make sense is that if you cause sufficient ow damage to a certain part of their body, that part of their body can become damaged, which means it can, it can become less effective or even inoperable. So attacking somebody's leg might make them incapable of maneuvering quickly, or attacking their uh, arm might disable their weapon or their shield or something. So that's the more relevant piece of the information. Hello. I'm stocking up on things. You okay, buddy? 
You, you okay? He's probably fine. Oh. They really aimed for the head. Ow! That low... That slow windup was a mistake. I made a mistake. Look at Mr. Giant Glowy Weapon over here. Man, I maneuver fast. Hi. How you doing? Ow. What was that? He might have might have blocked me. I was kind of bouncing off. Power core acquired. There we go. All we had to do was steal it from insane guy that probably needed it more than us because he was losing his mind. Poor guy. Oh my god, where is the secret? Where is it? Where is it? It's apparently right there. It must be either above me or behind the wall. It's gonna drive me crazy. Overcharge. Oh. That, uh, that diary thing earlier specifically warned me. Do not try to overcharge something without sufficient power or you, uh, are gonna be in big trubs. So let's not do that. Let's not make that mistake. Anyway, my, my, did something just come out from behind me or did I just run through something that broke? It's probably that. My, my, my thought process in song choice was pick something with no lyrics. Because then that's less irritating to hear all the time. Fault restored. Your core has been detected. Core level. Use the medbay to bank your collected tech scrap. If the total amount of tech scrap you own, banked and collected, is high enough, you can level up the co uh, total core power of your exo rig. All equipped gear and implants consume a portion of your total core power. I, so it's going to cost me three ninety-five, which I have like double of. So boom! Oh, hold it. There we go. Can't afford the next one though. So now my core power is eleven. I need 15 if I want this next slot. What happens if I equip two of these? Oopsie. So we have the this injection thing right here. Uses three things, gives me 90 health. It's a vital injection. Oh, vital boost. Oh, it gives me maximum health. Oh, that's neato. That's neato. Probably more important than having the health bar thing, even though having a health bar is nice. Being able to see your enemy's health bar is nice, but having the ability to get more health is better. Let's see. I think that's all we need to do here. Database restored. Checking database. Gear voucher detected. Exo rig restored. You now have to overcharge. Ah, uh, it went away. I think it's just saying I can overcharge the thing I need to go to. That's fine. You're still here. I can't do any more for you right now. You need to get back into the factory. On my way. Try to find a maglev station. And be careful. 